Hi, my name is Gene Gant. I'm with Escobar Dental Supply. I've been servicing dental equipment and autoclaves for 39 years. And today I want to talk to you about the performance and the maintenance of an M11 Midmark autoclave. We're having problems with a lot of paper buildup in these machines. And in the past years, you have two sides to an autoclave bag. One has plastic and the other side has paper. The trend has changed to put the plastic up and the paper down. What the, the problem with this is the paper starts breaking down and stopping up the machines. And for the evaporation process, the paper should always go up. So when you grab a tray and you're going to put your instruments in, you never put plastic up. You put paper up. And never obviously overstack the machines to make sure that the 272 degrees at about 30 pounds of pressure will kill spores and all viruses and bacteria in your instruments. Another important thing you have to do is keep these machines clean. You always want to take the hose and drop the hose in a bucket and drain the, drain the water out. And you should do this on a monthly time frame or period because debris will get in the water reservoir and cause the solenoids to stop functioning. Another thing we have is a handpiece lubricant called Hanadine. How we use this other than handpieces Inside the unit, there's two hinges. This bottle has a little point on the end, and you take the bottle and squeeze oil in each of the hinges. And inside the door handle, there's two pins. And you put the lubricant on those two pins, move the door handle up and down to make sure it moves freely because Midmark autoclaves have an automatic door opener. And what happens is when these pins get dry, it makes these little motors work harder and burns them out. And on the inside of it, at the bottom of the tank, you have these little filters like this. They should be regularly changed at least a couple times a year. And when you clean the machine, you should always take them out at least rinse them off uh, uh, in the, with your faucet at your sink and then reattach them at the bottom of the chamber. And another thing that we do, we bring in our Hanadine Hanna Clean Cleaner. And what we do, we just spray inside the chamber and then wipe it down with a, a cloth towel to make sure it's nice and clean. And when you go to put these back together, the trays, you hook these uh, racks into the holes on the tray. And get them in. And then squeeze the top a little and push the tray in. One of the problems that you run into is people don't slide the trays in far enough then when they go to shut the door the door will leak steam and water. The next thing is checking your door gaskets. Door gaskets on a Midmark Autoclave should always be snug, tight. If you ever get a machine that's get losing a little steam and that gasket moves, it needs to be replaced. The water should be drained out of this machine minimum once a month. The, the cleaner the water, the better the machine will function. And you can check the cycles on these machines by unplugging the power cord in the very back of these machines. When you unplug them, the LED will go off. You wait about a 10 second count, then you re-plug it back in, 
and then it will initialize the system, boot up. It will tell you the cycles. This machine has 3,065 cycles. When these machines get four to 5,000 cycles, they need a refurbish, which will be your manifold block, air jet solenoid, and a heating element. And the machine will keep running for another 10, 8, 10 years. One of the things that I wanted to discuss is the two examples of water that I have came out with. Here is a jar of clean distilled water. And this other jar is a jar of contaminated water with people putting the bags paper down. So this example of this water is proof. Paper goes up and plastic goes down if you want to keep clean water in your reservoir.